Welcome to the Thinky Man's Pro Wrestling Podcast. I'm one of your hosts. My name is Rusted Diamond, and I'm here with... Gee, yeah, that's me, live from Guantanamo Bay. Sup, dude? That's you got so... some fucking what's up with the waterboarding today, dude? Uh, it's, it's, actually, it's actually dodgeball day here. Oh, good, man. Uh, which team are you on? Are you on um, team fucking... Uh... I'm on team solo. Team Solo, okay. So is you don't want to against... touch any of the balls. They've either put STDs on them or grenades inside. So stay Perfect. away from all of them. Yeah. Dodge the balls. You can dodge a fucking Guantanamo Bay ball. You can dodge a fucking uh, touch Other, ball. Uh, cellmates balls. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So um, shit, man. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's fucking. I'm going to crazy morning. I got a, a long day. I got no sleep. Uh, because that's uh, how I roll. Um, okay. But if anybody remembers, our, uh, our, we, used to, we started out as three on the show. Um, our good yeah. friend Rob. I um, want to give a big shout out to him and his family. I send a lot of prayers to his family. He uh, lost his brother-in-law uh, the other night. His brother-in-law is named Joel Pop. Hope? Pop? Sorry if I got it wrong. He's a state trooper from Michigan, 39 years old, and was hit by an elderly man why he had pulled somebody over on the highway and uh, lost his life. So shout uh, out to Rob and his family, sending lots of love and prayers. Um, if anybody's out there, please uh, check out J- Trooper Joel Pope Pop. I believe they have a, f- a fund going on. Um, I'll have more information next week. It all just happened in the last 24 hours. So I've been uh, talking to Rob a bit here and there. And yeah, he uh, left behind a wife and, a daughter so holy shit yeah um and he, yeah it, it makes you think every time it hits close to home and um we've all lost some folks in our life especially if you're at our age at this point but when, the guy was 39 and uh younger than us yeah younger than us but he was i a mean hero. we're 27 we're, yeah we're 27 <laughs> doing some chintzy podcasts here and uh this guy was a superhero and uh was taken out just like that so uh yeah Shit. please uh if if anyone gets a chance check out joel p-o-p-p is his last name um and like i said i'll get more info next time around uh we're on um either podcasts and i'll put it up somewhere and uh but yeah um so yeah i got that news the other night i wanted this to throw that out there and give respect to the trooper there and uh didn't mean to start off the show so depressing but hey it happens a lot with this show man well see and that's what i was gonna get to is a death man um done a lot of thinking over the last 24 hours since this happened and uh in a way pisses me off because the only time we ever ever really really truly appreciate things in our life is when somebody dies you stop for right. that moment to really look at your family your friends and appreciate that you're still here as human beings we don't do it any other time and as soon as we're done mourning and grieving and try to pass like you know or try to get down the road here from losing somebody or a loved one um we tend to forget that until the next death it's pretty sure do it as fast as possible yeah, it's that denial thing we all have inside of us, and uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm the opposite. I unfortunately I think too much, and uh, I still got a few buddies that I've lost that still hang on me heavily, and I think about them all the time. And but yeah, it's uh, it sucks, man. Death is a fucking weird thing, and we all hate it because we don't know how it goes. We'll never know until you, until it comes. So, but yeah, no, uh, then, yeah, it sucks. Sorry to start off the show so the fucking depressing. Don't know how to switch to the next topic since it's more of a positive thing in life. But uh, oh, yeah, hopefully, about Vince. hopefully uh, he'll be around and uh, yeah, hopefully he'll watch over his wife and kid and all that good shit. So, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah you you want to go down that road, huh? You want to go to well, the ends? Yeah. And uh, I want to shit on your head and yeah. give you up to Brock Lesnar. 
So um, do you think those were really his texts? It, did, it seems like some like... Don't think you would be a fucking idiot. And I don't think that... Like that doesn't seem like a fucking seventy year old some person text style. Oh, That's like oh. I, I won't put it past a seventy year old man for ass for defecation. Well, but like the the way the shit's written, it looks like some like it's not like proper grammar and shit. And uh, I no guess if you're asking intended. for defecation, yeah, uh, if yeah, you're asking def- a shit on someone's head, of character right there. Definitely yeah. defecation of character. <laughs> Sorry. If you want to oh. uh, shit on someone's head. Oh, shithead. Shithead. Um, you know. So, yeah. I don't know. I, if you want, if you want you to sh- the word shit. Yeah, if you want to shit on someone's head, it's fine. Like, whatever. If you guys are both, or if maybe there's more than both. If there's a lot of people that are involved in it and are into it, man, whatever. Like, but uh, I don't know, man. It's one I alleged, you know, everything on here from here on out, allegedly. Uh, so we don't have to go and say it every time. But allegedly, um, I don't know. I I assume there's some truth in the stuff, but I don't know if I if I go full truth. I'm gonna Michael Jackson. I don't believe any of it. You don't, don't believe any of it, but you wouldn't let your fucking. He's got a lot of money and he's on his way out, dude. He's got a lot of money. He's on his way out, and then I mean, really. They've been <laughs> I, doing it for. I'm not fucking... trying to put images on anybody's head, right? Th- like, Thirty-some years. Me, he went out to some chick. I was like, "Hey, I know you work for me now, and uh, you probably want a higher position. I've got a couple clubs. One's kiss my ass club." And the other one is defecate on your fucking head club. Which one would you like to do to get that position? Sounds like Hollywood. Dude. I'll do a lot of things for money. Don't get me wrong. I'm a human being. And anyone out there says, I want to put myself down to a low for any money. Horseshit. If you're famous, that Weinstein guy or whatever, yeah, you put yourself down to a low for that shit. And that's how you made your millions of dollars. I, in no way would I Allegedly. let someone poop on me, though. Poop is fucking disgusting. I'm going to go over this. Who said it? If you got a poop stick, no one's fucking with you. It was a comedian. And some what comedian is- out there who was like, yeah, if you got a poop stick, no one's going to be fucking with you. Because, dude, you can have a gun or a knife. You might want to try to fight the guy. But if right. a guy has a stick with shit on it, you're running. You're not going to fight the guy. There's no way. Right. What if you're wearing like a parka, like a la parka or something, or uh? Mm-mm. Nope. Just That's poop, dude. It's poop, and it's someone else. Poop, poop gets everywhere without you knowing. I've I've had three kids. You change your diapers, and you're like, "Oh, that was easy and clean." It's on your fingers, dude. It's like a fucking phantom. You like disappear, and you're like, "Oh man, it's fucking gross." Dookie. It's gross. Yeah. Like pee, that's one thing. Puking, that's another. Poop, no. So that's why I'm there. And it's a female, dude. Like, this, this you're made, she's calling out a fraternity frat boy fucking thing, dude. You know how you're in my fraternity, boy? If I get to poop on your head, then boom, you're in the fraternity. Right. Don't know why I talk like a military guy there, but. I well, know. I mean, I don't, I don't know. It's kind of a fraternity as well. Um, it is. Dude, I mean, you call everyone brother. Yeah. Yeah. Now, do I believe I, Vince has had, uh, when I say inappropriate, that clarifies like he had a relationship while he's married to his wife. Not saying his wife wasn't fucking, I mean, in some young wrestling ass, but, you know, I can see him being a like a filthy ass grabber. Like, hey, I'm Vince McMahon. I love that ass. Whoosh, like that. Like, doing that sometimes. Just don't see him fucking... <laughs> I'm sorry. I keep getting the mental image in my fucking head. Like, it's funny. There's the girl sitting there. He's up on his desk, squatting over her head, pooping. 
dude, <sighs> I'm, it's, it's a bummer that fucking chat GPT won't let uh, us fucking, I, I know it wouldn't allow us to uh, input oh, that as Bing. a prompt to, or yeah, Bing to say, uh, please make an image of Vince McMahon pooping on someone's head. It lets you do the Epstein Island Nintendo game. <laughs> okay. I'll show you later. I have it. Yep. I have the That's label for Epstein Island Nintendo video game. <laughs> ah, speaking that'd, of video games, that'd be a good one. I have left the PS4. You left it. You get a PS5. I, I had an I had an angel in my life bring me a PS5. Okay, so now I have to go and get the. Yeah, you do. I, and I'm going to was... tell you this. I've played a lot of games. I've had a lot of systems. I play games entirely for what they are in games. I played a game last night. I didn't play the game. I walked around while people were shooting at my fucking face, looking at all the trees, the rocks, the mountains, and the smoke, and the... Dude, fucking phenomenal look. What'd you play? Uh, Hell Let Loose. So, do you have to... Buy- like so, for Grand Theft Auto, do I have to buy a whole new Grand Theft Auto for PS Five? Nope, nope. You just transfer your stuff over. I played P- Grand Theft Auto in there last night. My my PlayStation Four version, loaded up like this. Done. I was in the game. You know how you have to wait like a minute, a minute and a half uh-huh. for it to load. It just started to load and goes done. And I was, I was Franklin at my house. Okay. Changed over to online was online within like two seconds, dude. Okay, so I need to put it's up a the, thing. I, uh, I was waiting for you to to get the uh, to get it before I was gonna go. Yeah. And... Mine's a long story. Um, I have to go pick up a tiny TV today because my monitor is not compatible with it because my monitor is like twenty years old. But that's about okay. it. So yeah, I'm there. I just what gotta hook it up in my for? office. Oh, that's a hard one. I get attached to things like that. And I got a lot of time and a lot of games and a lot of stuff put on it. But then again, it's all switched over to PS5. So I don't know. And what about the controllers? Are the controllers different than the PS4 controllers? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep, yep. Well, they're nice. probably only need one. Yeah, they're nice. Um, I heard they're fragile, so don't drop it too much. And uh, yeah. yeah, I got the disc, the disc drive one. Uh, as they they have ones that don't have disc drives. Yeah, they have uh, just digital editions. Oh, that's fucking stupid. So no disc drive on it at all, just the digital. Like it's just 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 the box. So you can't fucking play old games unless you download them. Then you don't really own them. Yeah, then you, it, yeah, you technically don't really own them. But yeah, is, is it backwards compatible? Yes. So play like. PlayStation it said four. We'll play like three, two, and one. Don't know. Okay. I'm on it now. Shit. Because, yeah, dude, I got my fucking uh, Xbox here, man. This fucking thing, dude. And, like, I don't know, man. I'll have to just see who wants it. Who wants to trade straight up? And I have to make sure I get the non digital edition of the PlayStation. Some games release on the original PlayStation, the PS2, and the PS3 can also be played on the new PS5. However, there's a catch to this. Unlike PS4 games, you can't use the original CDs or DVDs on the PS5. What? Hold on here. That's confusing. You can even play PS, PlayStation 2, PS3 uh, on PlayStation if you're a Plus subscriber. Ah, uh, you fuckers. Mm, so... It's all that streaming. So you own nothing. You subscribe to everything. That's, yeah. that's the 2030 plan. Right. You own nothing and you're happy. <laughs> What's everyone going to tell Jay Leno about his cars then? Right, oh, they're, they're, we all fucking deserve them. They're ours now. Um, 
So you can't play. How do you play your PS4 games? How does that work? Then downloaded. I have a lot of digital games. So I can't play my PS2 games I have with my PlayStation 2 on there. Like I could with the Xbox. So I could play any Xbox, old Xbox game. Can you? Oh, I can, yeah, I can play any Xbox game. Yeah, this is, uh, you can do any PS4 game. <clears throat> um, Shitty. But yeah. Because I have a, <clears throat> excuse me, an external hard drive. Me too. So I just plugged it right on in, and then it took me 13 hours to transfer the rest of my shit that was on the PlayStation over to my my PS5. Okay. All right. But there's a lot of free, cool games over on the PS5. Like, I just got a game called Finals. What's that? It's like Apex, Fortnite kind of a game, but it's in casinos and shit, and you take money and have to, like, deposit it or some shit. Okay. So it's it's a pretty fun game. We played the other night for like fucking four hours without even thinking we were playing for four hours. But yeah. And then my Day Z. Oh, dude, let me tell you. Oh my god. So you have to buy a new copy of that? No, dude. It's over on my game, and there I am. Okay. I I put the so I've been playing on the PS4 on that monitor. I put it on my big screen TV in the living room on the PS5. Holy shit. I went to a 2160 <clears throat> whatever instead of the the four there's 4K 8K or the the, the you know how there's 720p 1080p 1440 yeah. p I got it to a 2160p Oh shit okay cool Once again didn't really play the game just looked around It's like this is nice graphics This is nice <laughs> see I felt like an old man it's like this is nice um, the one thing is though, uh, Grand Theft Auto Five for the PS Five is only twenty bucks right now. So if Grand you want to Theft- upgrade to it, yeah, but there's know. really not much of a difference to it. Like, yeah, changes. They've got a couple of different add-ons for the car, and that's about it. Yeah, I don't and know. graphics I- are smoother. Yeah, I'll wait for. Six for yeah. GTA six. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I'm pretty much gonna try to become one with a video game. I'm gonna try to put myself into it. I pretty much Oh can. oh I forgot to tell you about the haptics or whatever they call it. Um so when you're playing Hell Let Loose, my my right my uh, R2 on it. Yeah. Uh got like sticky and stuck for a second. Oh, okay, from too much. No. Come. So when you're playing a game and you have a gun, it feels just like the trigger you got to pull. It's a clink, clink, but any other time it's all smooth and pushing down just like you play the video game. But as soon as you pick up a gun, dude, you have the pressure of a trigger on your fucking R2. Like, dude, it's sick. Because oh. I was like, oh, dude, I think my controller's fucked up. To my buddy, he's like, what do you mean? I go, Every time I go to fucking fire, it gets like there's some pressure on it, man. Like someone's underneath the button. He goes, No, dude. He's like, that's the effect of the game. And I was like, What? And yeah. Oh. Okay. It's it's fucking weird, dude. It's it's Are... cool as fuck. Man. Shit. Okay. So I well... say go to PS5. It has supposedly statistically blown the Xbox out the water by now. Okay. Well, um, but if yeah. I had an Xbox, I'd be playing it. <laughs> so. Yeah, I don't want to bust it open because I want to be able to trade it if I can trade it. Yeah, so just uh, it's not saying they won't come out with the software to be able to play PS2 or PS3 discs on it right now, but if they've done that before. Know, I mean, worst case, I still have two PS2s here, so I can still play those. And uh, I don't know. But, mm. um, and it's bigger. I'm fucking big. The console. The PlayStation. My PlayStation Four stands like that tall. Yeah. This PlayStation Five is like that. Oh shit. It's nice. It's like carrying around like stormtrooper armor. 
because I'm a nerd like that. But yeah, I don't look into it, dude. And then uh, it's a different fucking world. It's it's making that jump from PS3 to PS4. Like how much difference there was in capability. It, It did it all again. You're just like. Damn, like, and then you go to watch YouTube through it on your TV. Oh, some okay. 4K, like, aquarium shit. It's nice. All right. I love all that shit, so. And I'm going to be uh, popping Royal Rumble through that bitch this weekend. Oh, yeah. That's going to yeah. look sweet. I'm trying so hard to not know anything about any entrance i was talking with someone about this recently like that's the part someone was bitching about it and i was like yeah dude i fucking hate that shit like even knowing number one and 30 like i don't want maybe knowing one of those two is okay but i don't want to know any and i want there to be surprise people that come in in the royal rumble i all right so this is where i I I think we have to be fucking related 15 i I, I read zero news smackdown what I usually read all the news, you know. I, I keep away from it right now. Yeah, fuck it, dude. I don't want to know, dude. I, the Royal Rumble is so fucking cool, dude. Like, anything can happen. Fucking. I think Cody's there. gonna get number one this year. That'd be a story. That, I mean, that would be. If he gets number one, I can see him winning. But I did I send you the card? I don't. I don't know. Oh, it's on my phone that I'm thinking, but uh. It shows Roman Reigns versus Rock, Cody versus Punk, and Gunther versus uh, Rollins. But uh, now, isn't Rollins hurt? I think he's more hurt than he's saying, and I think things are going to change. Like, I think, I, I don't know what to think, but if he's hurt, he wouldn't be wrestling at all. <laughs> like, the doctors aren't going to clear him, so do that right. shit. You know, it's like when he's like, I got a broken back. No, bro, if you had a broken back, they won't let you wrestle. Right. Yeah. So that's, this is where we've had the whole social media reality come into play too much now where that's what I expect all the time. So when you're saying, I'm wrestling with a broken back, you're not. Because doctors wouldn't allow you to do that, and I know that. Yeah. But like, yeah. that's a liability to a fucking company. Yeah, yeah. You let the guy with the broken back go out, and he got hurt again. Yeah. How's that stand up in court? Like, yeah, <sighs> yeah. Well, anyway, I know I get too much. I know it's sports entertainment and all that fun shit, but if we want to play the the realistic card. Sometimes you really yeah. can't go in and out with it, right? And well, we either yeah. we either go um, that way or we don't. Ride that fucking line, man. And but you know, it makes us think of uh, better rumbles and better times, man. Kind of like when we grew up. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we've got a new uh, podcast coming up here. I think we'll uh, probably kick off sometime next week. And the show is called How We Grew Up. How We Grew Up. And I thought, I thought what it was is it? When We, yeah, when we Grew Up. up. Man, I fucked up. How we that. grew up, I think. Uh, how we grew up. What the fuck? It is how how we grew up, man. Man, I'm fucking exactly out of it, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> it's Friday. I, I wrote, I wrote when we were kids. That is not what it is called. Um, so wait, it's called how we grew up. Yes. God, what the fuck, man. How we grew up. Okay. Um, you know, it'd be really cool if we could uh, see a video of it uh, to maybe get people knowing like what we might be talking about, like kind of give them an idea of what's going on. If only, only something like that existed, man. Um, but wait, it does. Holy shit. I got no audio. Oh, shit. Okay. 
You know what? That's cool. <laughs> you know why? Yeah. I know. I know why. So we'll start it over. We gotta play it again. Cause fuck it. Cause we gotta get the audio going. Okay. There we go. I feel like a porn star's dick is gonna like flop out onto the screen. Speaking of porn star's dick, uh, there's a the name. <laughs> <laughs> And that's what's gonna be, man. Gonna be about um, how we grew up. How we grew up. I yeah, different sh- video games to movies to uh, even going back to like Berlin Wall, and the fucking Rodney King shit, to the riots, to all kinds of shit around the world, man. Fucking AIDS being introduced to the world and what people automatically assumed back then. Um, yeah, man, we can hit pretty much any topic, have people come on the show and talk about how they grew up as well. Um, to the toys they collected, to the boogers they ate, to whatever, man. I mean, whatever you did. Were you a booger? Sorry. Guy? Was I? Yeah. I was a flicker. Okay. You, flicker. I guess eating boogers is pretty good for you, actually. But so is fucking putting piss on That's the skin. show, folks. We'll see you next week. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I, never, I, never was, I never was a booger eater, but uh, from what I'm, I'm not learned, saying I never did. I just don't remember doing it. Okay. Yeah, I'm not saying I never did, but I don't remember doing it either, man. But from what I am uh, learning in my uh, 40s is that eating boogers is good for you. Uh, putting PP on your face is good for you. Drinking PP is good for you. I use big words. For some you fucking words. watched Cujo recently or something, dude? What the fuck is wrong with you today? I don't know, man. I don't know, dude. Fucking. Oh, it's because we talk about Vince, huh? We talk about Vince and the poo poo on the head. The poo 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 poo. Yeah. Uh, the poo poo. Eat the poo poo. They eat the poo poo. Sorry, the, I just that Tosh for no. Dude, oh man, my buddy made a thing of it, dude. Uh, like a remix of that, and I oh, can't. No. I, I think of that all the time. Um, this is fucking man. gross. So wait, yeah. so who who's your number one to come in on the Royal Rumble? Who you gonna pick for number one? Uh, I, I like your Cody answer. That's a good answer. Okay, who do you think wins? Sorry, I just I just looked at the fucking poo poo thing. Eat the poo poo. Um. Uh. So, though, who I think is gonna win? Um. I don't know. Fucking Cody or fucking Gunther. Cody or Gunther. Okay. Well, I'm in a dream state world. Um. I have a feeling Brock will pop up. I want Brock what? to win. I want Brock to pop up and Brock to win. I'm so, a Brock guy, dude. Man, man, with Brock, dude. That okay? So with the fucking Vince shit, why is Brock <laughs> fucking? Why are they fucking giving Brock a fucking hard time with this? What did Brock do in this? He didn't do anything because Vince is the one who offered the girl up to Brock. I think right. Brock turned it down, supposedly, or some shit. Yeah, I mean. Brock so fucking, that would be like more big like thumbs up to Brock, you know, not giving him shit. Yeah. But you know, it's <clears throat> it's different when you're behind a keyboard. Right. When people uh, are talking shit. Because go ahead and say it to the guy's face, and I doubt that would even happen. Right. That's why I'm not talking shit here. Because I mean anything can happen. And I have no reason to talk shit about Brock anyway. He's he's one of my boys. I fucking love that guy. Yeah. And he can do whatever. Well, besides so, some P to the R. Kelly shit, but so you think Brock would come back and win it to No, I want him to, but he ain't gonna it won't happen. Well I, I want what, him to. What would be the reasoning for that? To have him come back and, and win it. Triple H had a bad day and was like fucking fans, I'm gonna be like Vince McMahon and stick it to you. 
send Brock out there and make him win it all. <laughs> That's all right. I mean, I don't know. Ain't nothing wrong oh, with that. So fucking uncomfortable in Guantanamo Bay. No, uh, yeah. I can hear I can hear my grandson calling out for me. It's funny. Me and him are attached at the hip. This is the probably the longest we've been apart all day. That's fucking hilarious. But um I don't know, man. I know people are gonna tear it apart. I think it's the, it's the end for Vince it was it being around wrestling. I mean, with Endeavor and WWE. Too many allegations. Too many things popping up too soon. The mustache. The mustache mustache is what did it for me, man. Once that mustache came in, I'm like, oh, dude, got to get rid of this guy, man. (laughs) Yeah. Once you get the mustache, you're giving out candy at fucking park playgrounds. I mean, that's what you're doing. Dude, that mustache creeps the hell out of me, man. It's, it doesn't even look real. No, it doesn't, man. It looks like someone fucking. It was one of those What's ones that? like in 10, 15 years ago when fake mustaches were a thing. Someone just slapped it on his face. I grow a mustache every other fucking day. Yep. I'm a hairy motherfucker. I hate it. I'm shaving my head later. Like with a bick? Like uh, with a razor. No, it's still too cold. Buzz it. Buzz it. Oh, dude. This dog. This dog below me has been barking. I fucking. uh, It was barking for like an hour yesterday. It's like a little fucking. uh, Not maybe it's a corgi. It might be a corgi or something like a corgi. Corgis are cool, though. An hour straight. Oh, then. uh, Yeah, it's like a, a corgi, but I don't think it is a corgi. Um. Because I know some cool corgis, but this thing was barking for like an hour, and I fucking saw the maintenance guy come up, and I like went downstairs. I'm like, hey, 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 what, what, what the fuck do I do, man? This dog's been barking, so at least he heard it. But um, yeah, that dog needs to shut the fuck up. Oh, it was like, it was like your bitches upstairs, dude. They were pounding from 10:30 at night until like 3:30 in the morning. Doing what? I don't know. And uh, told the managers, I haven't heard anything since. <laughs> it's been quiet. Yeah. That's nice, man. It's fucking like yeah. aggravating. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, yeah, this, I, uh, what's yeah. that? Oh, I don't know. I don't know <laughs> what I was going to say, man. I was going to, oh, I was going to ask about the fucking, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I, I'm I'm about ready to get some place with some space. It's gonna happen at some point. I gotta gotta have a little space around me. I think. Um, a little space. Yeah, a little space. Get like move. Like next uh-huh. time I move, get a little fucking room. Uh, a little, a little buffer zone between some people. Where like, where I, I want to make it so I can't hear other people. Yep, that's why I want to move out further. I don't want to be around people. I'm just yeah. done. Yeah, just done, dude. Um, Do all for yeah. the shit, man. Especially with uh, November coming up, dude. I'll just put it that way. Yeah, right. Hey, they released Kevin Patrick. Who's that? Let me see if I can get the text message from Vince here. I'll see. Who's mm-hmm. Kevin Patrick? Kevin Patrick KP, he was one of the he was the like Irish Scottish announcer on uh on oh, WWE. Right yeah. Okay. And they uh, he left. I heard uh, like three people left or got fired or something. Probably would have seen the stuff coming like oh, okay. I see the stuff coming down today. I'm gonna quit. It's a good time to fucking leave. Oh, those NDAs. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I don't know, man. Some people, but allegedly, some people that I know that have, like, done stuff with and been around Vince have said, like, that dude's pure evil. 
when they see him and meet him for the first time. I've heard that from multiple people. Just can like tell. Right. Allegedly. Got the text messages in front of me. <laughs> Dude, it does not look like it's from someone in their fucking seventies. He goes, exactly, baby. He's not the only one. Blank called me this afternoon begging to eat you and F you with his nice and hard blank. No nice and hard, but donut. (laughs) They all donut. (laughs) Oh, my God. This is crazy. I don't know, man. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, Does that sound like someone in their 70s to you, though? I don't know. Does, I mean, it, it. I don't know. And I don't know how you make that shit up, though, either. Or either, though. Oh, so this is the money that he got caught giving away. or One of them. Pain. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Allegedly. I mean, yeah, this is allegedly. All allegedly, man. All allegedly. Oh, man, I don't know. You know, this is the part where I go, if it was my neighbor, I wouldn't know anyway. But because this guy's famous, everybody knows. Yeah. And I didn't even ask to have this told. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't ask to flip my computer on and ask to see this shit. Right. So what I'm saying is, if he is, he is. Like, it's it's not my business and fucking gross and, you know, you need some help there. Um, be more respectful towards women. Like, there's a lot to it, but at the same time, I could have douchebag Jones at the end of my block doing the same thing as Vince McMahon's women. I don't know this because he's not famous. So it's all because he's famous. We all know this. And if Vince wasn't famous and he was doing this, none of us would know. None of us would care. No. Nope. So I know it sounds fucked up. I just, I don't care. It's, it's not me. It's not my family. It's not my friends. You know, and if that really happened to the girl, well, she's also at fault for being so fucking desperate. It's like, how what, how desperate are you in life or something that you, someone needs to poop on you? Like, come on, man. Like, that's fucking gross. Like, that's somebody's daughter right there, okay? I'll just put that out there. She's not just fucking disrespecting herself. Her dad catches wind of the news and knows how to fucking... 70 year old man shit on his daughter's head for fucking money or whatever or position. It's embarrassing to him, man. Like, because the mother, siblings, fuck. Hey, man, aren't you the one who's got that sister who got the dump on the head by Vince McMahon? Yeah, you're that brother, man. Like, give me that, dude. That's what you could be. And it'd be like, uh, fucking, uh, what's her name? Monica Lewinsky. Like, Everyone's going to know her as the chick who fucking gave the dude a blowy. And, you know, yeah, like, she was uh, looking for a book. She was looking for a book, dude. You know what, man? Yeah. And, like, everyone that know- is around her, like, you get the last name Lewinsky and, like, oh, you're related to the fucking chick who sucked his dick, allegedly. Yeah. Uh, well, no, no, no. And it wasn't allegedly he. I mean, he came on national TV and said he was right. fucking around and shit, so. And he yeah. didn't throw out any particulars like, I've been, I've been doing stuff with the Winsky, but she didn't suck my dick. No, he, he was just like, yeah, I said I didn't last week, but this week I'm going to let you know I did. <laughs> I love how that worked out. Yep. And here it is, man. And uh, I mean, yeah, that's what she's going to be known as. She won't be known as anything else. She's just the fucking one who fucking sucked his dick. And, Didn't and, that like, fucking dress sell for like a bunch of money on an auction show or some shit? Probably. Let's we'll see what happens in that shit. I assume it would, dude. I mean, someone's gonna want to do. People want fucking shit. 
People want fucking, people got fucking, uh, things they're into. Like, pooping on people, I guess. God damn. What the fuck? Kenneth Starr uh, has it. The guy who was the prosecutor? Wasn't he the prosecutor? In that? Yeah. Is he like... he is star- Kenneth Starr's investigators after signing an immunity agreement. Wow. Why would you want that? Yeah, it's private property of whatever uh, court fucking whatever, you know. Yeah. Someone's bank bank. But I'll say it again. Douchebag Jones at the end of the road. Had some lady over in a blue dress. Yeah. Fucking pulls dress... out, shoots a bunch of fucking kids all over her dress. And uh, that's not selling for a lot of money. I don't know what happened because he's not a celebrity. Yeah. If I mean, he see, have a picture like that in his building. Look what stands out from the 90s, man. That. OJ? OJ. Bill Clinton in the dress. Rodney King in the riots. Rodney King, yeah. Hey, we should have a, so we should talk about some of this stuff on if only we had some show, man. Yeah. Uh, Paul That's uh, what that's just the taste of how our show will go, uh coming up, up on our how we grew up, yeah. And uh yeah, we'll even still talk about wrestling because that's what we grew up on and stuff, and we'll like I said, we'll have people swing on by saying how they grew up and Hopefully it's nothing traumatic coming right on our show, <laughs> but uh, don't need to get down a Dr. Phil road. Yeah, dude. Fuck, yeah. what were we talking about the other night? That was, we were talking about Dr. Phil. No, we were talking about Cheaters and how it fucking uh, it always had a new host on Cheaters, like every other fucking season. I was wondering what happens to the hosts. Well, probably because like you start seeing someone come up like oh, I know that host, it's host from Cheaters. You gotta have a new one each time. So it's like, like you see, if someone sees fucking uh, what was that guy's name? The take a seat guy, the pre- child predator guy, Chris um, Hansen. Chris Hansen. Like you start like, oh yeah, shit, why don't you take Hansen. a seat? I'm getting out of here, man. No, it's Chris Hansen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why don't you? Yeah. Why don't you have a seat? Yeah. Dude, no, I need uh, to leave. No, why don't you sit down? Why don't you take a seat? Dude, man, I I watch these guys online. I think I told you about this, that do that shit. Um, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. They, they do it to, like, those kind of people and, like, people that are, uh, like, money meals for Indians doing like uh you know um online scams and shit like uh oh. getting getting old people to like yeah the, the hello i am very good i want to get your debt of twelve hundred dollars but if you send me 150 dollars on a green dot card today we yep. will forget about this matter and you will be forgiven if not you will be fucking killed by a sheba yep one of those uh, yeah. so they go after those kind of guys and then like so they have like these usually people in the US that are like go and take it from the old people like go to their house and get it and then they'll go and send it off um it's fucking crazy you know, scam whatever yeah and so they go yeah after. I'm entitled to do the Pakistani voice by the way because I did live in India number two aka London England um yeah I'm entitled so yeah it's not like I do any other voices or something like I was from like Nigeria. What do you? Oh, I can't even do that one. It, I just go into my bobsled fucking <laughs> voice. Yeah, we got to make a bobsled team. Sorry, dude. Yeah, that that was like a thirty-year-old movie, man. John Candy's been yeah. dead. John Candy and fucking Kurt Cobain have both been dead for like thirty years. They Kurt Bain's been way longer, isn't he? No, they they died in '94. They both died like at the same time. 
No, they did not. Candy died no. like years later. No, uh uh-uh. John Candy died. No fucking before. way. Yeah. Let's Hold see. on. John Candy died March 4th, 1994, and Kurt Cobain died on April 5th. So it was like a month later, Kurt Cobain died. I wonder why. I wonder if that's why Kurt killed himself. He's probably a big I mean, John dude, Candy John fan. John Candy was fucking amazing, dude. John yeah. Candy was fucking awesome. Uncle Buck's one of my favorite fucking movies, man. Dude, I love Uncle that movie. Buck's great. He, Everyone he pulls them? up in the fucking wagon and it fucking backfires and everyone drops to the ground. Yeah, dude. You, you ever seen the movie Volunteers? Mm. It's John Candy and Tom Hanks, I think. Um, Wilson! Yeah. <laughs> it's just, that's all I can ever hear. Let's see. Um, yeah, John Candy and Tom Hanks. And, uh, man. It's it's pretty pretty good, man. Um, yeah, John Candy, yeah. Tom Tuttle from Tacoma, Washington, man. Um, but I mean, it's not like it's not no Uncle Buck. Don't don't get me wrong here. It's not. I'm not saying like, oh, this movie's better than Uncle Buck. Well, you got um, Kevin McAllister and Uncle Buck too. You know. Yeah. Joe yeah. Kev. Yeah. Yes, that was before fucking. Uh, Home Alone. That was like a year before Home Alone, a year or two. Yeah, dude. And John Candy made like four hundred dollars in Home Alone, or some like <laughs> crazy amount of money like that for the movie. I think it was four hundred dollars. Uh, Home Alone Three: Kevin's Revenge. They have that. Check out the trailer. Yeah. It's a a parody, but it's fucking funny. Uh, Yeah, $414 to be in Home Alone. Really? Yeah. Why was that? Uh, Maybe he owed John Hughes a favor or some shit. I don't know, dude. Mm. For, you know, for Uncle Buck or whatever. Uncle Buck was, I think, I assume was a John Hughes movie. Pretty sure. But yeah, 414 bucks. But, dude, yeah, man, the fucking bobsled movie. Uh, cool Runnings, man. That definitely, that has some parts, man, like that. Still quotable shit, man, from that movie. Sanka, you dead? No, oh, yeah, man. man. <laughs> um. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I guess it sounds cool. Yeah, you got Yul Brenner in there. Yul Brenner, uh, baldy motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, fuck, man. Therese, Therese, uh, Sanka. What were the other ones? I'm trying to think you of the song. One bad mother who don't take nothing from nobody. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's how it goes. Yeah. I'm a bad uh, mother. Don't take nothing from nobody. Again. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think that's yeah. It's a good movie, uh, man. It holds up. Yeah. I, I don't know if I've seen it for a while, man. I think it's been a little God a little damn bit. my fucking kids, man. Oh, you, you watched it with them? No, it's it's Friday, so I got my uh, my my middle one here asked me to go hang out at somebody's house after school. I'm gonna be taking one out to the store today taking my grandkid with us to the store and then my oldest has moved out to Newburgh somewhere uh, with her boyfriend and having an, having a baby again so grandpa again yeah I know this kind of so. grandpa yeah your, grandpa grandpa your grandpa your grandpa yeah. you become more of a grandpa when you have more grandkids or are you still a grandpa or is it like yeah, it's, again. they take your soul the more they're born. It's kind of weird. Okay. Like the more there's younger kids being born, the older I start looking and frail and gray. Not so frail, but gray. Yeah, those yeah. grays. 
I, I don't have any, man. I'm drunk. I got grades. I, I guess I, you don't have them, or you do? No, I do. I do, man. You gotta get up in there. Man. I got a fucking. I'm going for the Scott Steiner thing here. still. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Start so having to do some mathematics. Yeah. It's fucking. Uh, yeah, man. You got to know that. You got to know that. Uh, you got a 50 50 shot. But, um, you know, uh, so, yeah, see what you can do about switching out your uh, console. I mean, even if you don't. You have an Xbox version to do content with, and I got the PS5 version to do content with. We just can't play okay. together. That's can't the only problem. Together. Yeah, that's yeah. Good. Can't cause yeah. police riots downtown on the Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, so I got. Oh no, but we could. We, you still have your PS4, right? I have my PS4. Yeah. Yeah, we can still play Grand Theft Auto together. But not when the new one comes out, man. And once that comes out, then it's fucking. I it's gotta gonna have change a... the world. Dude, every, you know how many people are going to be staying inside? You know how crazy the servers are going to have to be for that? Well, they better have everything ready. Because, I mean, GTA 5, they didn't have everything ready. Dude, I don't think they have everything ready. I don't know. They, they realize how big the servers are going to have to be for when that game drops. Dude, the servers are fucking huge for Hell Let Loose because it's 50 people versus 50 people. Yeah. Dude. It's insane. Like it's the scenery that gets really caught off guard but you'll be running and looking dude and fucking be looking at a tree and there'll be like a head popping through like just fucking staring at you and a gun come up and pink and it's World War 2 so okay. like dude the sound effects of all the bullets whizzing by if anybody's ever watched Saving Private Ryan um, yeah. with surround sound on dude yeah oh, yeah. Uh, yeah it's good shit do you have sort no. surround sound when what? you're playing? Or you have do you have your headphones on or do you have surround? Always sound? have my headphones on, yeah. Okay. Headphones yeah. on at the loudest setting so my ears bleed. Cool. I'm deaf anyway. Yeah. I yeah. Right. You got the fucking uh yeah, you can't really do surround sound like if you live unless you live but I mean a surround sound like I feel kind of went away with um, stereo boxes in the back, like in the trunks of cars, like they both kind of went away at the same time. Like nobody has them anymore. Rattling your rear view mirror. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, man. Yep. My mom would get so fucking pissed at my friends, but I had one who had to outdo everyone, dude. Uh, and literally, <laughs> fucking, his shit was so loud that you already thought he had parked outside my door and was waiting for me to come out to go to school. He used to pick me up for high school. This motherfucker was like still walking a half away dude, going down the street. When he got there, dude, my kitchen window would be vibrating. Dude, and fucking neighbors start coming out their house. Dude, fucking pissed. And I'd run jump in the car. My mom would just be fucking irate. And then we come home and fucking, oh, dude. Yeah, my mom's like, you're a fucking friend. And his music. And all you can hear is, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> How pissed would you be now? Like, mm. if, if you, like, if your kid fucking right now came up uh, with someone who came up like that in your car. Oh, they were good. Came up in their car. Oh, yeah, they were good. Oh, they did? Yeah, I showed them what the fucking life of God will be like if they fucking do that again. I came out yeah. the day I did my white face. So I went yeah. over and I like they're sitting in the car like with their music up waiting for some one of my kids. I went over and just walked out there like I wasn't part of anything. Walked right over to the door after night and just goes Turn that shit down now. And they're like I'm just fucking turning it down. The soul said it's like just turn that shit down now. Yeah, yeah not not cool. I'm uh <laughs> The Bowling for Soup guys, dude. Getting old sucks. If you've ever heard that song. No. Yeah, go Bowling for Soup. Every Getting old sucks, and there's a bunch of puppets in the fucking video that are singing. and that, uh, okay. Yeah, pretty much says where we're at now. Bum knees and surgeries and heart attacks and fucking all kinds of good shit. 
Mostly everything hey. I go through once a week. We haven't had heart attacks yet, dude. So fucking knock on wood, bro. We're doing all right. Yeah, so far we're doing all right. Yeah, I don't think anyone I've known so far. So far. I, I've known some people who've had heart attacks, but they didn't die. Like that were were young. Like in their thirties. Yeah. I have to I have to chill out. I've they got high testosterone and fucking uh an anger issue and I get like excited like a kid. So it's I've gone to the doctors quite a few times with really high blood pressure. But <laughs> like, you, you didn't okay? get you didn't get the uh and do a whole bunch of physical activity now and just drop over dead. Um you you're mm-hmm. not you're not one of those. No, uh, just, no, no. Shit's crazy, man, how much that's happening right now. To the younger crowd. To the younger crowd, just yeah, like okay. Uh that's not good. Well yeah. not good at all. Um but uh you know what is good? It is not Bill Cosby. Not Bill Cosby. Is Bill Cosby still in jail? No, Bill he's Cosby out because of uh, 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 Leatherface is here. Okay. Yeah, uh, this is my fucking, my lawn people are here. Um, yeah, he got on a technicality. Okay. Um, definitely, so definitely on the tech. What's he doing now? Didn't he, um, isn't he doing comedy? Didn't he do it? Went he was going to, I'm not sure how that that went. Yeah, Probably no women know. went to his show. Oh my god, what are they doing out there? Man. Yeah, who knows, dude? Fucking Bill. techno. Dirty old Bill. Fucking, uh, you can listen to the Bizarre song. <clears throat> Man, I miss Bizarre. Rufus? Rufus. So he changed his name, now he's back to Bizarre. Wait. I thought Bizarre was dead. Bizarre from D12? Yeah. Don't tell me that, dude. Who died from D12? Proof. Proof. Yeah, don't get me started on that. I'm a D12 fucking junkie, dude. Proof. Okay. Yeah, it's Proof and, uh, what's his face? Um,. Oh, my band, my band. Um, there's another guy who fucking got shot and passed away too. Man, I thought Bizarre was dead. I could have sworn Bizarre was dead. No. Oh, okay. All right. Well, Bizarre, awesome. Bizarre should still be alive. I'm going there Bizarre's right now. That's fucking awesome. I'm looking. He's he's alive. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, that would suck. Yeah. Good. good. That's some good news, man. Fucking Bizarre's still alive. I'm happy. Yeah. That Bizarre's good shit. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking. Uh, no, D12 lost two members, I think. Was it? The bugs with the Z, yeah, okay, I believe so. But yeah, uh, I saw Eminem and Proof at Warp Tour 96 97. Oh, shit, like before they were going, yeah, yeah, bugs passed away in 1999. Okay, so that was when they were still underground. He was probably uh, Eminem's first fucking uh, sacrifice or something. His his elite yeah, well, sacrifice. So what happened was was uh, Ice Ice Cube. Someone was supposed to be there and it got canceled, and he was there. And uh, I remember I just got his album like a few weeks before, and we're showing everybody, and everyone was like. That shit's stupid. It's just another white guy trying to fucking rap. That's dumb. I was like, mm, he's being produced by Dr. Dre. It's not like it's some guy who's just trying to produce himself or whatever. 
I kept right. listening to it. My buddy who uh, I went to high school with, he's no longer with us, but fucking, uh, we went to the show. We went to Warp Tour. <laughs> we went to M and we went to go watch Eminem fucking rap and shit. And literally, a little rain cloud came over the fucking stage that day. And it was sunny as fuck, but just fucking rained just a little bit. Eminem was passing around a blunt. Uh, I think we hit that a couple times. And uh, yeah, Proof was there, and it had a giant mummy that blew up with syringes sticking out the fucking thing. It was an inflatable mummy with syringes sticking out of it. I remember seeing that. But yeah, dude, seen Eminem. It was fucking cool as fuck before Eminem was big. Dude, I thought Eminem sucked in concert. I'm going to say that I saw him in like I was fucked up when we saw him so it's 2000 or 99 Anger Management I've been a smoke tour. tour yeah Anger Management are up in smoke oh my goodness yep. oh my goodness Guantanamo Bay for suck but um yeah no it's fucking I like Eminem though. He's good. I do too, man. I fucking love Eminem, dude. Especially then, dude. I was. You should check out Dax. Wait. Okay. D A X. Anger Management Tour was not 2002. It couldn't have been. In 1999. Yeah. Uh, okay. 2000 with Limp Biscuit, Papa Roach. And Eminem. <laughs> Papa Roach. Papa Roach. Shout out to Papa Roach, man. I yeah. partied with those guys. Man, how was that? It was cool. Jacoby was really nice, the lead singer. Um, the bass player asked me for heroin, um, so that was a little different. Um, <laughs> he came yeah. up and he's like, hey, man, got anything? I'm like, got some weed? And he's like, I was looking for something like a little, hard, like a little harsher or something, like some heroin. I was like, oh, I'm not your guy. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, but I, we went uh, with Tiny from ninety four seven. My wife and we had to hide my wife, actually All underneath right. Tiny, uh, because she wasn't twenty one. Okay. So Tiny, being five hundred pounds, just lifted up one side of him, and she went behind him and was on the Perfect. couch. And security came in, and was like, "All right, guys, have a nice night." And we partied. So me, Jacoby, and Jacoby's dad ended up drinking vodka together. So, got a picture of us hanging out together and stuff. It's fucking this cool time. Yeah. Back when I used to hang out with rock stars and porn stars. Yeah. Now you fucking hang out with me on the computer. <laughs> hey man, we gotta settle down at some point. Yeah, I yeah. my ass should have settled down a long time ago, but whatever. I mean, we wouldn't have had these fucking things, man. We wouldn't yeah. have been doing a podcast. I was we just thinking of my twenty fifth the other day. Your twenty fifth, yeah, that one's. Yeah. Uh, I remember, remember the pink boa and the loud mouth motherfucker outside the bar. That was your twenty fifth. Yeah, seventeen years ago, bro. Holy shit. Yeah, fourteen years ago, yesterday, that we did our thing with the fucking uh, movie. Dude, yeah, I saw that pop up on uh, on the Facebooks, man. Um... That was 14 years ago. And we just were talking about that fucking thing. Just to the show day. about it. Yeah. Yeah. Time flies, bro. I mean, I was sitting there thinking the other night, fucking, I was a punk ass kid stripping at a fucking gay bar fucking uh, 20 years ago. And in between yeah. that time, I've made a family, started a business, got through addiction. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Fucking here we are, man. Still alive. Still alive, dude. No heart attacks. I yeah. taught fucking Dominic how to do that, dude. He's a little John Cena who walks around. That's funny. But um, I should probably call it a, a, a show here because my ass Ooh. and my hemorrhoids and my broken tailbone from skateboarding, it's all become one now. It's nice. It's going to let me know that I'm going to take some Advil. Yeah, I went to the gym a little bit ago, uh, so I... It's my day off. Okay. What do you do when you go to the gym? I don't. uh, Just the fucking treadmill. Okay. All the rest of everything is uh, push-ups and crunches, bro. That's where you got to start. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, That's what I've always believed has always worked. (laughs) Yeah. Squats if you can. 
or fucking. Uh, but that's always that like, knee's got a. My knee right yep. here's got a booby on it. Yep. Let me get some fluid out of there. Yeah. It's pretty bad. And then squatting in my neck, I can't. Yeah. You know how you squat? You gotta keep your your head fucking level and everything too, right. and your back straight. That's a yeah. bitch with a plate in your neck. Yeah. <laughs> well, I tried about, it. I was like, no. <laughs> think about if you're trying to shit on someone. Um, I mean, like you gotta have you gotta have those good quads, man. Like, he, dude, fucking tore both those quads, and he's still able to fucking shit on someone. Give me a break. There, there's the fucking. <sighs> if the glove don't fit, you must you must have quit, dude. Motherfucker blew out his two quads, dude. He can't fucking squat the shit on someone. Free fucking Vince. Okay. God damn it. Um, dude, yeah. Uh, yeah. Take it, yeah, take yeah. it on home, man. I don't know where to go after that. Like, if you ain't fit, you can't take a shit. Yeah. If the glove don't fit, you must have quit. That's yeah, man. Yeah, no. Um, we'll put more stuff up. I'm gonna go on my YouTube and. Still navigate a bunch of stuff. Um, anyone out there is a video gamer, stop by my YouTube. G, yeah, that's me. Um, you'll find me pretty much wherever. So find me on the tube. I'll be on there tonight. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing on there just tonight. But yeah, I have to go get a fucking new TV to hook up to it. So fucking I got to do all that shit this evening. And keep building all those WCW stages over at threadheads.com. Come check us out. Or Threadheads shop. Threadheadscc.com. So it's it fucking, there. was Threadheads, like, you know, was that a hard thing, like, URL to fucking get? Or was it going to be, like, a really expensive one or something? Like, threadheads.com or something? No, I don't. I'd be, uh, I, don't, I don't do all the, right. the right. domain right. stuff, but... um. It seems like one that costs a lot. It's ours. I don't know. I would have done that. Like, like RustyDiamond.com costs a lot of fucking money. Does it? Uh huh. See, I, I'm a, I'm a bitch. That's, that's why. So I'm my real name is so fucking easy to get control of, dude. Uh, I got so like my, name. my email is just my full name at gmail.com. Like, <laughs> I don't have to have like seven hundred five three five five six seven. Let's see. RustyDiamond.com is fucking... Okay. Someone owns it right now. It's uh, some music artist. Um, Oh, they're doing pretty well. I've I've seen him climbing the charts this week. Oh, oh, Rusty Diamond. Otherwise, we need to be truthful here and say, hey, Rusty Diamond, a musical person, stop your gig. You're not going anywhere. Give up the fucking name and the site. And we'll yeah. uh, we'll call it good. This is not a hostage negotiation. This is just me telling you to hand over the fucking name. Yeah, I mean I, I'm cool with RustyDiamond.net. It sounds. Uh, so, I mean, if people look up RustyDiamond.com, they're gonna go to that. They're gonna be like, oh, that's he's making music. But it's like, no, RustyDiamond.net is making music, motherfucker. Yeah, so, we do it all. We do yeah, it dude. all. We do it all, oh. man, for the nookie. Oh. Oh, Come I, forgot. On. I forgot. You gotta take that cookie and by this cookie, fall. Yeah. By this fall, Threadheads will have their own official action figures, motherfucker. Unofficial Stay tuned. action. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stay whoa, tuned. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Stay tuned. So, our first ones will come out will be our uh, basic uh, staff and security guys, but uh, I'm working on a, I'm working on a start and seeing what we can do. Uh, is there going to so. be a G yeah, this me style like fucking guy, man? That oh was... God, no one wants to make an action figure of my ass. That will never ass. ever happen. Hey, I've had a I've had to autograph stuff, so that's that's been the weird one when I've had to yeah. autograph shit. What? I'd autograph one of those fucking cans. Um, like tits? Huh? Tits? It's one of those uh the Steve Austin. Major Wrestling Podcast one things and they had our logo on it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um and what else did I have to sign before? I've had to sign a, a picture or some shit before. How'd you sign it? I just signed my name, man. 
do you do a do you do a special signature when you sign shit? Do you do d- different? Yeah, ideas? mine mine's all scribble Hollywood style. So like you can see the two G's, but then after that it's like a kid with no hands that's blind fucking wrote the shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, and he drools too. Yeah, you gotta drool on your shit, man. That's fucking extra for people, you know. Oh. Yeah, dude. Sorry, Joe. Go, I'm slightly retarded. Go, go get oh. a walk around, man. I know, right? I don't even know if I yeah. can. I'm going to Lieutenant Dan style on this bitch. Yeah. <gasps> That's the other thing. So I'm sitting there playing the fucking game. Right? Yeah. Hell let loose. This is how fucking detailed the game is. I watched one of the soldiers get fucking gunned down and killed. I was like, whoa, that's pretty brutal. Look around and all of a sudden I look over and I hear a missile coming in, or a bomb, lands on the guy and blows his dead body to pieces and fucking limbs and everything fly everywhere. Nice. It was nice. Anyway, yeah, no, yeah. it's it's good stuff. But um, yeah, no. After uh, the news we got the other night, definitely check on your loved ones and reach out to them, and don't don't appreciate life just because death stops at your door once in a while. It's a uh, it's a fucking shitty world we live in these days. It's not a wonderful world we live in anymore. Um, and uh, come November, it's only going to get shittier. So stay in your home. I'm I'm kind of a doomsday prepper kind of guy, so maybe you go on Amazon and buy yourself some emergency blankets and some batteries and shit, just in case. November might get a little treacherous a little bit, so uh, yeah, no. Check on each other. Don't don't appreciate each other just because death comes by and reminds you of how fragile fucking life is sometimes, man. Yeah. Everybody out there, call your grandmother even if she's in the grave. I'm sure yeah. smartphones will somehow get into those yeah. fucking Wi-Fi uh, caskets. I, That's what we should do. Oh. I I saw a thing that Wi-Fi caskets, dude. Throw them in there, man. They're fucking great. Camera twenty four seven on the corpse, and you can look at your grandma at any time. Yeah. Oh, that you might be something. Fucking, you can watch them fucking rot away. Yeah, it's twisted, but people be Why down for it. Dude, yeah, man. You can peek in like, is that bitch really dead? I don't know. No, nope, her, her, her jaw just fell off. She's dead. Yeah, no, yeah. like, it's a little morbid yeah. there to end the show. But. I mean, yeah, I just have, like, cords that go, like, like a whole cord system that, like, goes underground and through the fucking casket and back to the place to pay a little extra for power and wi-fi and yeah yeah you guys so it, it, it's wi-fi after death this will be the company yeah. right yeah so it, it actually it's going to be called peekaboo <laughs> that's a good neighbor to cover me. oh we're yeah. going to hell i'm driving the bus yeah at least we'll but, um, be able to see it people will be yeah. able to see it that's so fucked hey you never know I heard but um, yeah, them are empty. I'm gonna go get some food and wake my my legs up and all that good shit. But uh, yeah. reach out to each other. Don't do anything fucking stupid. And I really do mean that this time. It's uh, fucking people out there are just ruthless these days. Fucking ruthless. Yeah. And uh, yeah, get used to watching some home movies. Well, not home movies, but movies. Power goes out or internet goes off. Have a backup for some entertainment. I'm just having this feeling this year, man. Shit's going down. Shit is going down. And if it does, it's going to ruin my internet and I can't play video games. So That's going to fucking suck. Yeah, but um, yeah, no, reach out to each other. Make yourselves dinner. Make yourself some soup this weekend, some nachos, some tacos. Order your fucking pizza. Eat your burgers. Watch the Royal Rumble and bitch about it after it's done because that's what we're all going to fucking do anyway. I'm gonna and I already know. Early Monday morning. You want it ruined? I already know. I already know who's number thirty. Oh, you do? Vince McMahon. No, I'm joking. That'd be fucked if he can. Dude, he would come out like this. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm gonna <laughs> shit on you all. Yeah, if he did that, if he just came out and fucking took a dump, like just yeah. fucking just takes his, his shit in the ring. A, yeah, it just like. Someone just immediately just shit cans him out of the match, dude. Like, that would be 
fucking beautiful. I I would. Oh I would, no, Vince is going for the defecator. No, no. Yeah, and then nah, it slips in it, and then that's how the thing ends. Oh, the god ones are coming back. You said. Oh man. Slop drop. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna go give the wife a break from the grandkid and get going to the store and all that good shit. And uh, cool. yeah, looking at a, a mound of fucking debauchery in my room. I gotta fucking clean up here. This is crazy, man. But yeah, with that, I'm G. Yeah, that's me. I'm a rusty. And we will see you next time, folks. Love you.